Safety continues to be on many people's minds this semester at VCU. Insight reporter Amy Villa has more. The Monroe Park campus was put on alert in August after five students were robbed in two separate incidents. VCU sent an email to all students stating that VCU police would be increasing patrols, but most students still experience times when they don't feel safe. History major Elizabeth Murray describes a scary incident that happened earlier this year. These, like a group of guys on bikes, started yelling, well, stop me, and asked me some really degrading questions, and then when I wouldn't answer them, they followed me home. VCU's escort service would have been useful in this situation. This service offers to drive VCU students to their cars, classes, or homes on or near campus. Another safety feature here at VCU is the access control reader. This allows entry for VCU students into designated doors and buildings. And this magnetic strip on the VCU card identifies the user and opens the door. Officials say awareness is the most powerful defense a student can take to school. VCU Police Corporal Jim DeFord tells students to just use common sense. Traveling groups, let people know what's going on and stay in touch. And be aware of what's going around you. Don't walk down the street with your earbuds in, texting, looking down. Criminal justice major Tierra Gostomsky often walks home from work late at night. She has some safety tips of her own. Don't carry lots of money on you. Carry at least a couple forms of ID, maybe in two separate pockets or two separate wallets. Students should keep these tips in mind while walking around campus and take advantage of the safety features VCU has to offer. For VCU Insight, I'm Amy Villa. VCU police also offer a free ride-along for any students who want to get to know areas around campus.